My weird school. Fast facts. Dogs, cats, and dung beetles. Written by Dan Gutman. Pictures by Jim Pellot. Chapter Six: The Smartest and Dumbest Animals. Animals are smart. Take ants, for instance. They build entire cities where millions of them live. The cities have ventilation systems that bring air in and carbon dioxide and waste out. Some ants will collect leaves and take them to special chambers to decompose into fungus and be eaten by the ant colony. No other animal besides humans does farming like this. It takes intelligence, planning. And teamwork. Oh yeah. Well, I say animals are dumb. Ants can't read, can they? Arlo, being able to read isn't the only way to judge the intelligence of an animal. Look at you. You can read, but you're not intelligent. Oh snap! In my face. Well, if you're so smart, smarty pants, why don't you prove how smart animals are? I will. Orangutans can saw wood and use a hammer to nail boards together. They can even siphon liquids through a hose. Big deal. Any dumb head can do that. Bottlenose dolphins are so smart. Some scientists call them non-human persons. They can recognize themselves in a mirror. Scientists can recognize themselves in a mirror. No, dolphins can. Oh, so scientists can't recognize themselves in a mirror. You know what I'm trying to say, Arlo. Bottlenose dolphins understand when you point at something the same way a dog does. They've learned how to hold a sponge in their beak. So they don't get hurt foraging for food on the bottom of the ocean. In one experiment, it was found that a bottlenose dolphin would sometimes choose an "I'm not sure" option. That doesn't sound very smart to me. If I ever took a test and wrote "I don't know" for an answer, I would probably get an F on the test. Gorillas are smart enough to learn a version of American Sign Language. The most famous one, Coco, was able to learn more than a thousand signs and two thousand spoken words. In the 1980s, Coco asked for a cat, so she was given a stuffed cat. Coco didn't like it, so she was given a real cat, which she named All Ball. She cared for All Ball as if it was her own baby. That must have been adorable. Macaques are monkeys that have learned to use coins to buy vending machine snacks. In Japan, they've been observed making snowballs just for the fun of it. Elephants are known for having emotions, like people, especially when it comes to death and dying. When an elephant dies, other elephants will stay close to it for some time. They'll gather leaves, dirt, and branches to cover up the body. And if a herd of elephants come across some elephant bones, they'll spend the time examining them quietly. Sometimes they'll come back to visit grave sites of other elephants. Crows are probably the smartest birds. They can be taught to speak, count, and even make knives to cut leaves and stalks of grass. Sometimes a crow will throw nuts on a road. And then wait for a passing car to run over them and crack them open. Then they grab what's inside and eat it. So you think it's smart to eat stuff that got run over by a car? I'll bet if I ate that stuff, everybody would say I was crazy. African gray parrots are supposedly as smart as a four-year-old kid. The most famous one was Alex. Who lived from 1976 to 2007? He knew lots of words, objects, colors, and shapes. 
He could understand the meaning of bigger, smaller, same, and different too. Alex was so smart that when he was tired of being tested, he would say, "I'm going away now." And if his trainer looked annoyed, Alex would say, "I'm sorry." Pigs can be trained just like dogs, and they also learn from watching one another. Mother pigs will sometimes sing to their piglets while they're nursing. I'd love to see that. Some pigs are good at video games, just like you are, Arlo. I would totally crush a pig if we played a video game together. Rats have powerful senses of smell and hearing, and some can even detect landmines and bombs that we can't. They're also really good at figuring out patterns. It's no wonder why scientists like to put them into mazes to do learning experiments. One time, my family went to a corn maze around Halloween, and it took us hours to get out. I'll bet you would have found your way out of the maze a lot faster if they let a bunch of rats loose in there. An octopus can open a jar. It's true, Arlo. And if you don't believe me, have your parents YouTube it. You have to admit that's pretty smart. No, it's not. Any dumb head can open a jar. Have you ever had a raccoon get into your garbage, Arlo? They are amazing. No matter how carefully we humans design our garbage cans, the raccoons are smart enough to figure out how to get into them. Oh yeah, well, if raccoons are so smart, how come they have to eat garbage? If they were really smart, they'd get their food at a supermarket. It would be cool if raccoons went to supermarkets. People think of pigeons as pests. Well, maybe they wouldn't think that if they knew pigeons can recognize all twenty-six letters in the alphabet. Pigeons can also memorize complicated routes back to their homes after flying great distances. They can even tell the difference between paintings made by Picasso and paintings made by Monet. Can you do that, Arlo? Paintings by who? But I do know that if I flew over a bunch of paintings, I'd be smart enough not to poop on them like a pigeon. Arlo, no poop jokes. This book is supposed to be full of serious facts about animals. Hey, you started it by talking about pigeons. The Portia labiata jumping spider is probably the smartest bug in the world. To lure other spiders into its web, it will pluck out a rhythm at the corner of the web. Not only that. But it will remember the rhythm pattern to use the next time. That's smart. So I rest my case. Animals are very intelligent, and sometimes they're even smarter than people. Oh yeah? Well, if animals are so smart, why don't they take over the world? I'll tell you why they don't. Because they're too dumb. Here, I'll prove it to you. Turkeys are so dopey that they'll just. Sit there and stare aimlessly at the sky for long periods of time, even when it's raining. Their eyes are spaced far apart, so they have a hard time focusing. This makes them tilt their heads to the side, so they look confused all the time. Ostriches may be the world's biggest birds, but they have one of the smallest brains in the animal world. An ostrich's brain is smaller than its eyes. Sometimes, when an ostrich is chasing prey or being chased by prey, it will start running around in circles because it doesn't know what else to do. What dummies! Sponges are really dumb. What's their purpose in life anyway? To clean off kitchen counters? And starfish don't even have brains. So they can't be very smart. How about blobfish? What's up with them? They're just blobs of a fish. So they may have the perfect name, but they're a bunch of dopes. So in closing, I'd just like to reiterate that animals are dumb. If they were smart, 
chickens would be eating people and nuggets instead of the other way around. There would be people parmesan and KFP, Kentucky Fried People. I rest my case. Let's just agree to disagree, Arlo. I disagree with that. Andrea's top ten cutest animals. Angora rabbit, African pygmy hedgehog, pygmy mouse lemur, pygmy marmoset monkey, harp seal, red panda, sea otter, teacup pig, meerkat, koala.